Greetings. Elder Blacklight. We're going to tap into some of Born Master Mind Allah philosophy and science because it coincides with the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And the name of this video is going to be The Fall of the Devil. Free your mind. Now, Free your ass will follow. it's Easter. The kingdom of heaven. It's, it's, it's the season it's to eat ham by ham and Easter eggs. Why do they call it Friday is within. before Easter? Good Friday. The kingdom of heaven is within. Now, I we're going to deprogram you, but we're going to the Father. reprogram you into the knowledge of yourself I am I am. because this is your time I to rise. This is the resurrection. Let's zero in on it. The golden age. Serious. The golden age. The rise of the black God. The resurrection of the black God. Now, 2022 and you had March, I mean you had April. Now, what I mean by that is April is the, is the fourth month and you add that into 2022, we're going to do a little numerology. 2022, we had that first, that adds up to 6, 2, 2, 2. Then you put the 4 on top of that, that's the number 10, which represents uh, the, the beginning. The white man it's going to be full of tricks. He's going to trick you with your own people. And we're going to point it out to you in another video. The Revelations uh, 16, 8, it says, And the fourth angel poured out his veil upon the sun, and power was given unto him to scorch men with fire and men were scorched with great heat blasphemy the name of God and blasphemy the name of God which has power over these plagues and the re re repented not to give him glory So you wonder why the Caucasian is putting chemtrails, chemtrails in the sky to block the rays of the sun. You know, he's messing with the weather to prolong his stay on the planet. Because when you go against nature, That's who the real God is. You're going to have to face the consequences. The real meaning of uh, the crucifixion and the resurrection is the crucifixion of the black man and the resurrection of the black man. Jesus, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, that word Jesus means justice. 
And when you look up justice, or when you look up righteousness, it also implies justice. It's such a powerful topic. For one, these are sciences that's not being taught in school. So our babies are in school being taught the same old things that we were taught, that our parents and grandparents was taught, but they're not getting the full story, not getting full truth. So to bring this science to the people, to let them know the time that we are in and how necessary it is to know what's actually going on out there and how we as a people are completely in tune with nature, how nature is on our side and in, in favor of us. It comes from us and we are one with it. So when we walking around thinking that walking with a, a, a lack mentality or poverty mentality or mentality that we are oppressed people we are only oppressed because we give people the stick to beat us down with but in reality this whole universe not only is us comes from us in tune with us but is in our favor and we're going to show and prove some of those things today nation is serious the golden age and the rise of the black gods First, we have to go into something that's known as procession of the equinoxes. Now, as you do a little research, you'll know that our ancestors, they knew clearly of what's titled procession of the equinoxes today. Just to go into it, um, equinox procession is the observable phenomenon that every year on the morning of the spring equinox, which is March 21st, one of two days in the year that the day and night are of equal duration, the other day being September 21st, the sun appears to rise at a slightly different place relative to the background stars than it did the year before. What I'm about to uh, delve into, I know we're not going to finish up on this session, but it is the sacred sciences of the original Asiatic black man. Now, we have uh, 496 in the subscription, subscription column for Black Light Soul School. When you add that up, uh, four and six equals ten. Add another four, you got five. Four and six is ten. And add the four to the one. Drop to zero. You got five. Now, that's very significant. We're going to get in that to the next video. But, five is half of ten. It's a half number of a whole number. And we're going to explain that in the next video. Stay tuned.